The opportunity was to look at how we spread uh, the use of quality improvement methodology in the organisation to help us make services better for patients. It's the human side of change. So today we're here for our second study day of Tools for Change projects and everybody is coming back to share with us how the, the beginning of their projects have gone. We've got a lovely mix of people, eight different projects, uh, nurses, midwives, theatres, doctors and the library. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and we're just going to get on with our day. Good morning everybody. And um, we've got a couple of apologies today from Rochelle with the theatres team, Richard. Tools for Change projects, or T4CP as we call it for short, came from a need within the organisation. So we have been using external training providers and we wanted to look at how do we create something in-house that meets our need, that gives our staff what they need. Let's make a start, I'm going to do the same thing. T4CP is structured over the course of a six month period roughly. Anyone at any level in any type of role, clinical or non-clinical, senior or junior, somewhere in the middle, can join in and when they meet each other they learn together and that um, peer learning is really important. They get introduced to a range of tools and techniques and thinking differently about change and really at the end of the first day what they're coming out with is a concrete idea of what the problem is they're trying to solve and what they're trying to accomplish, what benefits they expect to get. So we have uh, reworked our elevator pits, which is now They come back on the second day and they reflect on, OK, I tried some new stuff, what was that like, what did I learn? And they hear from, on the second day, one of our previous students, Victoria Murray. Using our thinking hats helped us think of things from a different... At the time I was working on the surgical assessment unit at Frimley Park Hospital, and the challenge we identified was trying to improve patients' discharge. What could go really I hadn't really come across OD before. I'd done some an improvement course before, but I hadn't really realised that was OD. I introduce people to OD tools and techniques a little bit by stealth. So I tend to be quite light on naming and describing things and really focusing on introducing an approach and this is what it is and here's how you might apply it. So being able to actually show on a piece of paper. So they think about how am I going to use this if I'm going to use it because it's right for my project and my change. Within our Tools for Change team were four of us. We were all senior sisters or ward managers so we all had a similar background, similar vision for improving discharge. We knew that discharge wasn't great but what bit of discharge was the problem? Using PDSA cycles meant that we could take small bite-sized parts of the project so that we could plan, do, study and then act again. And we did lots and lots of these cycles and even after the project we've actually continued those so we've seen the discharge helpline improve over time since the course. And we agreed going forward what we wanted to measure. So we wanted to Another measure. part of really great OD is evaluating impact. So in the context of Tools for Change, I use a model for improvement which is developed in the Institute of Healthcare Improvement in the States. And so by having a seven step measurement for improvement model, they can know that what they've done has, has got the desired result. Good afternoon, Surgical Helpline. The patient experience from the helpline has been very positive. Absolutely. We did a brief audit where we phoned every tenth patient back and asked them for feedback of their experience using the helpline and 80% of those patients said that the service they received was either very good or excellent. What we were going to do is I'm going to ask the one in... In relation to readmission rates, we were seeing about 80 patients being readmitted a month and this re reduced to about 40 patients a month and this has reduced again since. With the number of calls we received, we went from initially receiving 20 to 40 calls a month. We are now receiving about 200 calls a month, of which about 10% of patients get readmitted. Okay, thank you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. I don't think this project would have succeeded without the OD tools and the Tools for Change course. And definitely we wouldn't have had so many improvements. We noticed that there was a trend of lots of patients calling with catheter concerns. And so we took that to the urology team and they've changed their discharge advice and we saw then a reduction of those types of calls. So we continually have that improvement mentality which we didn't have before. t for cp has meant that there's lots of people all out around the organisation who know about these approaches to change and they apply them to the next challenge that comes along and they also find the next new students. So they continue to spread that capability and that OD mindset of 
we can do this, we need each other to do this, and we're doing it in service of our customers, whether that is our patients, our families. Really for us, it underpins our working together value here at Frimley House.